right, so we're going to get uh, started with this interview, and I'm going to be interviewing the owner and proprietor and the fiance of the Sage Restaurant here in the city of Baldwin Park, the great city of Baldwin Park. If uh, you live in Baldwin Park, please take the time to stop by and check out Sage right here on 9041 Main Avenue, is it? Street. Street. It's street. That's important. Okay. You want to, and it's right across from the city hall here in the police department at Baldwin Park. So you, you can't miss out. It's right here on the corner. We'll talk all about that a little bit later. I have some insert video for everybody to look at, some photos of the food and a menu to, to check out as well. But right now, let's let's get started with the, the interview of uh, the owner and proprietor and the fiance. So please give us your name. Hi everybody, my name is Abby Rodriguez, and this is my partner and your name is Jorge Alberto okay yeah just so y'all know we're gonna do a bilingual interview here so uh, so all of you out there will, will totally get it okay so Abby I just tell us a little bit about you uh, did uh, you know from how you came up with the concept of, of starting a restaurant right. uh, and uh, and how that's been going for you your ups and downs the struggles and no struggles uh, just tell us a little bit about that uh, of how it happened for absolutely you. So, being in this industry has been a journey. Um, it's been started since I was 21. I was my first uh, with my first restaurant in the city of Covina. Um, and how it all started, well, you know, I went to school, like many of us, um, got into the restaurant industry at an early age, and I just was passionate about it ever since. Um, a big important factor has been my passion for freedom and creativity and that's hence why you see the butterflies in all of my restaurants um, they define freedom and uh, I've been fortunate God has opened the doors at an early age of 21 to be a restaurant owner and survive this long and post pandemic um, we see businesses shutting down and what Sage came to be after opening my concept at Medianoche and having a fallout with that as a business owner and then Charm and now Sage after the pandemic. Um, my mission and what I believe in is in the healing of good food. Um, I believe in community. I believe in hospitality. Things that um, I'm able to do every day, I really call it it's my um, it's my gift. It's my my service, and I'm passionate about it because we all love food. Like food for me is family. Food for me is community again. Food for me is fellowship. Um, being raised in in a Hispanic culture. I mean, you know, working, having hardworking immigrant parents, working seven days a week. I look forward to taking time and going to a restaurant and my dad providing for us because that was our family time. So food has always been been family for me. I've been fortunate to employ all of my family, um, generate jobs, uh, and it's just been such a privilege. And the concept of Sage, um, and now just you know having my fiance work with me, um, it was interesting because we haven't been together for that long, but it worked out him weekends coming over and saying hey I want to see you well you have to come and put an apron on and, and get to work and Sunday nights were about going and getting coffee because um, I have sacrificed a lot uh, being a single mother of a three-year-old from day one as a Latina um, has been has been I have to say the hardest thing and um, and having a partner now is why I opened up in Baldwin Park um, the city came, they loved my food in Covina, and they said, hey, how, what can we do to, for you to come to Baldwin Park? And then the next day, the landlord came and says, hey, I have an awesome location. And we came by, and I wasn't in the situation to take on something new, but again, having my family and my partner um, motivate me and encourage me was really kind of like, hey, let's come to Baldwin Park. And I saw the potential. I was like, I'm in a great cross street. I saw this land, I saw this, these trees, and I was like, I need to make something out of it. So Sage um, came right after the pandemic. Uh, I took a year off, like many of us. Uh, it was a dark time for any of us, and I really questioned myself, like, is this industry for me? Um, and I started in the pandemic, the hot dogs. 
I started slanging hot dogs literally <laughs> out of my front house in a little hot dog cart. And it became, you know, it became the hottest thing in Roland Heights. And it was able to hold on to my businesses in Covina, pay for my mortgages. And I was really like, you know what? I, uh, there was a new passion for food, cooking at home, being with my daughter. And I was just, I was just, this is what I need. This is my industry. Therefore, um, um, I came back, renamed it. Sage to me is a rebirth. It's a cleansing, which after, all of us went through after the pandemic. And my food is really just quality food affordable pricing and like i said we're not in downtown la so we're not paying this high you know high rental space but i want to bring that to my community to my families let them know that affordable food and good quality is out there you know and such in, in bowen park needs it i mean i love my tacos don't get me wrong mm -hmm. i love my mexican food um but i just i just believe in my menu that it's so versatile you know, it's Hispanic, which I'm in. It's American food that I learned um, how to do. And then Mediterranean through like the experiences and a little bit of Cuban because Cuban is my first restaurant. It's my first recipes that I know, so. Hi, my name's Anna and I'm here with my daughter, Arlene. We're over here at Sage Cafe in Baldwin Park supporting Abby. We've been following her from the West Covina location. We were driving around and saw that she was opening a new spot. We said we have to go try it. Everything, like always, is delicious. There's not one plate that I would recommend. I recommend everything on the menu, so work your way through the menu. You won't be disappointed with anything. Coffee, her drinks, her food, really, really good. Great. And you said you're here with your daughter, right? This is my daughter. Hi, Hi daughter. <laughs> what was her name again? Arlene. Arlene. What did you have, Arlene? I got the steak kebab. Ooh, so. that was good. I had that earlier, and it's yummy. What did you have? I had the chicken Mediterranean plate kebab. Ooh. I couldn't decide whether the plate or the wrap, the Mediterranean wrap, but this was delicious. But you'll have that next time, right? It, next time, <laughs> for sure. And then you had a coffee, or iced coffee? I had an horchata iced coffee. Oh, an horchata. Yes. Okay, and then you had the lemonade the cucumber. cucumber lemonade. Yeah, and I had that. Ooh, it's so good. I, I, yeah, it's really, really Oh, delicious. I wish I had a gallon of that to take home. That is so good. Yeah. And look at that. There's even, some kind of fries. Or, what is it? These little fries, yeah. um, they're not basic. They look like regular fries, yeah. but they're not. They're really tasty, crunchy. The little ketchup, perfect. They have some kind of seasoning on it or some kind of or the flavor. I don't know. Just the, uh, the yeah. flavor. Uh, Abby's yeah. touch. Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's really good. Yeah. See, see, you can bring in just a plain old something and Abby gets it's, it. Abby gets and boom, it's something yeah. different. Listen to this. Oh my goodness, that is crunchy. So crunchy. Yeah. 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 Oh boy, so, so yummy. Yep. Well, I thank you too for uh giving a little uh shout out to sage yes we uh, wish you nothing but the best and uh you're on the keith allen show so thank you for being on the keith allen show you're and welcome. thank you for talking with me bye bye see you guys <laughs> here on our next stop hi my name is america and i work here at sage and ball and park okay all right we'll be right back everybody <laughs>